Now Adam suggested why don't we also do study with water to see how Tesla light systems also influences the imprint onto water. So we have water from the lab to which we have a baseline reading and then the uh, this glass of water was placed alongside the DC frequencies of the Tesla coil and kept over there for now uh, almost uh, it was 11 minute cycle then after the 11 minute cycle it has been now uh, in the in that state after the system was shut off for another 15-20 minutes so now we have the glass back in the lab of which I took a uh, uh, syringe and in this syringe now we have full headspace of the water that was influenced by the Tesla light now it is going in through this sleeve and we are going to cascade a drop there. So we look right down at the bottom and we are going to suspend a drop right down. Can you see it? Yeah. And now this drop is going to be just over above the electrode about 1.5 to 2 millimeters. Mm. And there it sits we put the cap on the top and now we come to this screen over here and in this screen uh, we will begin our capturing of data uh, so start video file here we go ready so here is what we are looking at this is and what we are actually now uh, capturing is a continuous what we call a dynamical image of that droplet of water suspended and we are uh, doing a 10 second reading at 15 frames per second and we are going to do this in five sequences we just did sequence number one so now we go to sequence number two so is again a a dynamical cascading of photons and electrons onto the droplet that is providing this image. We take our third reading and uh, there, the fourth reading. and the fifth reading so a total for each sequence when we do such water studies we get a baseline of about 750 uh, dynamical images of the droplet then we can uh, uh, okay so now this is done uh, this is done we can close this file and now we can go and look and see what the data is showing us and this takes us into a program that was also designed by Dr. Korotkov uh, called the scientific laboratory program this is the baseline water we are gathering okay and we look at baseline water now we have again in each of these panels is a uh, 150 frames so 150 times 5 is 750 so if we want to look at one of them and we can see that there is a dynamical image of the baseline of the lab water you see that clearly yeah mm. okay so that is sample number one mm. and now we go to our sample number two and we Tesla's and charged water and we have one through five open okay and now we have see this collective information now we will go to a screen where we can begin its calculations so there will be a total of uh, 1500 uh, dynamical images 750 from each baseline to uh, <clears throat> uh, 750 of the charged water so we are going to look at some parameters parameter of area 
average intensity area is the number of pixels intensity is the level of its photon discharge activity and we are going to look at entropy so which means it also gives us the activation of what is transpiring with the liquid so now we go and we put them into calculation mode calculate so once all this took a handful of uh, researchers to sit down and do and you would get the data maybe about uh, uh, four days later now you will get the data in about uh, less than one minute how's that sound yeah, that's terrific <laughs> <laughs> And then once we get this data, then we can observe its various uh, uh, influence, how the uh, Tesla lights influence the water and the information that the water in turn then is providing us based upon these three parameters. Okay, so here is one statistical curve. And from that statistical curve, let us look at uh, very precise activity. Number one, we can see that this is the baseline water of area and this is the water after the charge so just to just to give a value we can see that the water the area of the water is very consistent all the way this is time time on the x-axis and area which is the number of pixels on the y-axis so uh, here we see that a mean value so let's go like the midpoint here and the mean value here is roughly about 980. Hmm, 980. And the mean value after the charge is 2,281. So, of course, so the glow of the water is tremendously much higher than where it was to begin with. Let's look at one more parameter. What would be the average intensity? Average intensity here shows uh, that the... Uh, base was about 113 and from 113 it went up to 150 so it's still well beyond the 10 percent and so that is again supportive to show that the influence of the uh, Tesla's uh, of Tesla lights has uh, definitely raised their number of pixels so it has increased the process of informational capture so the capacity of the water to retain its environmental influence mm. a key point then uh, along with that intensity so which is the brightness characteristic has also been enhanced mm. now we look at entropy so initial initially which is the uh, this line we can observe the flow of so we can look at the peaks and valleys and we can see that there's a lot of peaks and valleys going all the way across hmm. now let us see if those peaks and valleys are minimized or have they been smoothened out a little and we see that there is definitely a smoothening process that has occurred you see that Taran? yes i can hmm. uh, so the, so here we can see some very clear influence of the Tesla the Tesla uh, lights to the absorption capacity of the water okay then of course we can go on to various other parameters uh, because uh, there are various other data fields that show and then we can calculate all this you see all this data of calculation for all the 150 uh, frames in each segment all the way up to uh, the 750 and then we look at all the values here see each one independent values that are calculated computed and now we want to generate a word report I can go here click and I can generate a word report on this uh, study that we just did and now from there we can come to many inferences